I had a heat stroke and I will tell you what happened. And if it happened to me, which I've been telling you in every single video to take care of yourself in the sun, it can happen to anyone. So what happened is I was shooting this video about what to eat in a full day in Athens city center with under 20 euros. I was a uh, full day out walking. I had applied sunblock when I left home, but then I forgot to reapply even though I had it with me because I was busy eating. So I was walking around pretty much what all the tourists do when they visit Athens city center. So if it happened to me, it can happen to anyone. My skin is red. I don't know if you can see, but it's itching me. I started feeling my skin burning. Like I could see it was turning red. And also I felt vomiting. I was feeling a little bit disoriented. Like I, I was trying to speak and I couldn't find the right words. And I would see like, that's kind of normal for me because English is my second language, but I mean, still it was too much. Try like five times to say one specific, like one very simple phrase. I would feel like we, I stopped recording, I went back home. I don't mean to dramatize or demotivate you for any activities that you would like to do in Greece. Uh, but the thing is that I felt really horrible when I got this heat stroke. And I was thinking like uh, you are visiting for a short period of time and you get this heat stroke and you are not feeling well for one afternoon, two days. So it depends on how fast you realize it and you leave. It's gonna ruin your holidays because you're gonna miss, you're gonna lose a lot of time that you would like to enjoy on different activities. So that's why I'm telling you, it's not like something to be scared of, it's something to be aware of and to be cautious and be ahead of uh, the situation. Always uh, monitor your health, your body, you know best. First of all, drink lots of water. Heat stroke, it's not only about the skin condition of sun burning. It's mostly because the body gets dehydrated. Drinks lots of water. Uh, one tip, in Greece, when you buy, take away a plastic bottle of water of half a liter, any brand, regardless if it's from the fridge, cold or room temperature, it always costs no more than 50 cents, like half a euro. They cannot charge you more. It has happened a long time ago that they used to charge tourists more than that. But it's been a long time I didn't hear something like that. But anyway, I'm saying so you know that it's only 50 cents, not more than that. When you buy from the supermarket, it's even less. It should be around 20, but that's not fixed price. So that's the law. Nobody can tell you otherwise. Nobody can charge you more than that when you take uh, this plastic bottle of half liter of water for takeaway. When you dine in, it's different, can't charge you anything. So that one though gets hot very fast because it's in a plastic. What I do, half. I have one of these with me and I always put the cold water that I buy in here to keep it warm for longer. Uh, two liters of water we need every single day. But when you are out in the heat, you need much more than that. Like you can drink two liters of water very fast and you still be thirsty and you ask for more. Like drink as much as possible, really. Always use sunblock. Uh, choose your own, whatever suits you best but always have sunblock on you. In Greece, if you're looking in Greece, you can find pretty much everywhere during summertime. All the supermarkets, all the small shops, or every souvenir shops, they have it. Pharmacies everywhere. During winter time though, you can mostly find it in the pharmacies. During the timing 11 to four, you should be really in the indoors. You shouldn't be outside, especially if you're not used to this type of weather. Even if you're from a hot country, the sun in Greece is totally different. Here, the sun burns your skin. Maybe you're someone that loves adventures and hiking and outdoor activities and all of that. That's really nice. During the middle of the day is not the time to do that in Greece. For always follow the locals' advice. When you see the locals that they don't go for hiking or they don't um, I don't know, they don't go to the beach in the middle of the day, follow what they do, they know best. And uh, you can always ask them, they will tell you. And if, let's say if you see them going to the beach very early in the morning, do the same. If you see them going hiking 
uh, like in the late uh, afternoon, do the same. Uh, there will always be an opportunity for you to do the activities that you would like. Just follow what the locals do. Very important is also for people that uh, it's the first time in this type of climate to gradually get used to that. I know you might not have many days to enjoy this beautiful weather, but you cannot like just the first day go out in the sun for seven hours, like the full day out. Just take care of yourself. Do it gradually. Like first day, maybe like very, go out very early in the morning and very uh, late at night. Second day, maybe stay a little bit longer. Like only, uh, not only a little bit. Like I'm not kidding. What happened actually? My mom, uh, she lives here of course, but uh, she's not really going out in the, in the sun at all during the day, like when the heat. So one time I took her to the beach very smart of me during the middle of the day and then we stayed there for three hours when we went back home her back was all red the part that, that there was no swimming suit and it was um, out in the sun exposed to the sun it was fully red and apart from that I took her again the next day to the beach because it was a beautiful weather so such a, such a beautiful weather so we had to another three hours in the sun she got so much like th her back was got blisters it was horrible and she was so much in pain i never forget that and i never took her to the beach again use sunglasses use a hat always when you're out in the sun walking or just staying uh, it's really important to cover your face and if you can cover even your skin like with the long sleeves it's even better but that needs to be some breathable um, fabric so you can don't get very hot. I even seen people around here that they have UV umbrellas. I don't know where they find them, but I really love to know because I love that too. Maybe they're coming from abroad, they're tourists and they bring it from back home. I haven't seen any around here, but I will be glad to have one of those. Another way that you can lower your temperature and what I did is that you just go home or wherever you live and take cold showers uh, and stay there for as much as you need until you feel uh, better. It's dangerous actually, that heat stroke is dangerous and if you stay in the outdoors for long, it can lead you to the hospital, for sure. You will enjoy Greece for sure and that's why I'm telling you, so, because I want you to enjoy it to the maximum and I don't want you to feel unwell when you are here. I don't mean to dramatize or demotivate you of uh, like, you will have a good time either way. I just want you to know how to navigate your day uh, so you will enjoy it to the maximum. I think I have found the best spot because everybody is stopping here to take pictures. And uh, yeah, let's enjoy <laughs> the Acropolis. Regardless, you will enjoy Greece, whatever you do. Just take care of yourself and you will have a great time and stay around to see more about this beautiful country. See you in the next video.